What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Patrick TV and today we're going to learn how to install GTA 5 mods the quickest and the easiest way. For this video, the mods that I'm going to teach you how to install are to replace car models or any other model in the game. So enough talking and let's get to it. Alright, so first you're going to need your state of the art copy of GTA 5. Second, you're going to need this program named OpenIV, which is basically the texture editor of the game. Now don't get confused with the name because it's meant to work with GTA Liberty City, GTA 4, 5, and Max Payne 3. Click on the image on the screen to download it right over here. Once you're on the site, go ahead and click on the green button that says Download Now OpenIV 2.7. The 2.7 is the version of the program and it may change in the future. However, whatever version it is, go ahead, click on it, and save it. Alright, now that you have successfully downloaded it, go ahead and go to where you downloaded it, click on it, and run it. Once you run it, there's going to be two languages. Pick whichever one you prefer. I prefer English. Go ahead and continue. Accept the terms of agreement. Continue again. Install OpenIV to this computer and create a desktop icon. Continue. Download size is 10.8 megabytes press yes and then a minute from now you should have the program installed I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this now that it's done go ahead and click close now here's the part that we've all been waiting for go ahead and find yourself a GTA 5 car mod just like this one right here if you like this mod I'll go ahead and put it down in the description for you go ahead and download the mod once you've downloaded it go into your downloads folder and extract the files. Once you've extracted the files, go in to the extracted folder and keep going until you find a readme file and anything that has to do with models such as a model folder or anything with the extension of YFT or YTD. Now this part is extremely important. You must read the readme file in order to know where to install the mod. Now in this specific case, this mod has to be installed in the time 64 e .rpf folder. So now, since I know that it has to be installed in there, I can go ahead and install it. Now to actually add the files into the game, go ahead and click on Open IV. Once you open it, go down to Grand Theft Auto 5 and click on the Windows version. If you're using it for the first time, you're going to have to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Usually the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder will be located in your program files, program files times 86, or the Steam folder if you have bought it off of Steam. Once you find it, go ahead and select the folder. Once you've selected it and it's the right folder, it'll tell you that OpenIV can work with this file. So go ahead and continue. It's going to tell you to not forget to back up the original files. Go ahead and continue. And if you want to do any of this, you can, but I don't. So continue. And then it'll start up. It'll search for the encryption key and then it'll start up. Now that OpenIV has started, you'll see this screen right here with plenty of folders and files. Uh, what you want to do now is go back to the readme file and make sure of which directory you're installing the mod to. Mine is time64e.rpf. So that is exactly where we're going to go. Go all the way down until you start seeing time64. And mine is time64e.rpf right here. Go ahead and click it. Go to levels, GTA 5, and then vehicles.rpf. Now to add the files in, all you have to do is click edit mode. It's going to tell you a warning that it'll automatically save. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now, this is the most important part here. You need to have a mods folder in your GTA 5 directory. This red bar up here is telling you that you do not have one. So all you have to do is click the button that says copy to mods folder and it's going to make a complete copy of your vehicles file into the GTA 5 directory. Alright, now you can tell that it's done because the red bar is gone and the progress bar is gone as well. Now, whenever a readme tells you to install a vehicle to a different directory such as times 64s, it'll always tell you on the top to copy to the mods folder. So, basically just to sum it all together, anytime you see the red bar on top, always copy to mods folder. Now that you see that there is no red bar on top, we're ready to continue. But before we start replacing files, we need to back up the files that we are replacing. So, by doing that, we could go back to our mod. 
and looking at the model that we're replacing I'm replacing Buffalo 2 so we are going to filter that out Buffalo 2 and there are the three files that we're replacing so all we have to do now is select them all and drag them out into the desktop and they are backed up so now all we have to do is copy these three files over here drag them right in you can you can tell that they have changed because of the file sizes see right here this changed this changed and this changed and then you are basically done all you have to do now is exit out and go into GTA 5 alright so we're in the game now I'm going to go ahead and spawn the car with a trainer for this video and there it is exactly the way that I modded it the car replaced Buffalo number two and replaced it with the correct model as well so that's basically it guys if you want to stick around for more make sure to click that subscribe button down below and like this video if I've helped you if you guys have any trouble with this mod or just replacing the mod in general go ahead and post a comment down below and I'll help as soon as possible with all that said I'll see you guys soon Yo, I'm like a one -hit wonder. I do the show once so take a number lightning strike without all the thunder hold your breath you are about to go under I know the game I make the rules and if you show up expect to lose this is the fun kids playground this is the one hit takedown <laughs> you run you run so keep your head down